Well, first of all, my applause go out to those kids. Um, if there is a way that's forming, that's going to be positive for this country and maybe save it, it's ultimately going to be the 18, 19, 20 year olds who are inheriting the mess of debt and war we're leaving them and are fed up with it. I teach them. I know they're fed up with it. So my hat's off to those working on climate change. They might be interested to know that the number one federal bureaucracy leading the U.S. effort, such as it is, to combat climate change, to deal with it, both in an adaptation sense and a amelioration sense, that is doing something about fossil fuels, is the military, the armed forces. Now, as a professional, being in the military as long as I was, three decades plus, I got to say, I, that concerns me a little bit as an American citizen. Why is the military the lead element on climate change? Well, it is so because it sees it every day. It sees its aircraft carriers at Norfolk, Virginia, for example, in places that are untenable because of the water, the sea rise. It sees Charleston, it sees New Orleans, it sees Mayport, it sees other coastal installations. It sees a $300 million Air Force installation in Alaska that's been undermined by permafrost melt, and so it's collapsing. They had to abandon it. It sees another $300, $300 million installation on Kwajalein Atoll that is now abandoned because the sea rise is making it untenable and unoccupiable. So the military understands that climate change is real. It also understands that this is going to cause massive, massive change in the world that it is going to have to deal with. And let me just give you an example. Right now, we have about 68 million refugees in the world. The military's models tell it that within 30 years, we're probably going to have 500 million refugees in the world. That's half a billion people on the move. Many of those are going to be males, many under 30, many carrying a Kalashnikov and at least 20 rounds of ammunition and looking for clean water and food. So the military understands. Donald Trump is prescient in a way, I don't think he realizes it, realizes it intellectually, but we're not just gonna have fences on the border, we're gonna have machine guns on the border trying to keep people out of this country because climate change is coming. It's coming with a vengeance and it's gonna take food and water and arable land and all manner of things that are necessary for life on this planet away.